All right, you want to say the words? Hi, Barkley Brookers. Good morning, Barkley Brookers. I have a pile of no. You have a pile of no? No, a pile of snow. Oh, a pile of snow. You're pretending you got a pile of snow over there? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. All right, well, you can play with your pile of snow very quietly while we read our story called Too Much Glue. It is reading so hard. Well, they are, right? And that's what we talk about in the Steemaker Lab. In the beginning of the year, we talked about how when you're using those liquid glue <coughs> bottles, you're not supposed to squeeze it with two hands so hard and squeeze out a big lake of glue. <coughs> it never dries, right? So our friend Maddie in the story is going to find out what else might happen if you use too much glue. Our art teacher says... Too much glue never dries. She reminds us, glue raindrops, not glue puddles. And she warns me, Maddie, too much glue. There's Maddie with all his too much glue. And she's, oh, no. But my dad and I love glue. At home, we make glue glasses, glue mustaches, and even glue bouncy balls. Mom is happy to help. There's a glue castle, you see that? Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So during art class, I find the fullest bottles of glue. I tip them over and squeeze. Plop! Glue squishes from the orange tips and slops all over. Sequins and googly eyes float around in a gluey lake. And then it's time for the most important decoration. Some of you might be thinking glitter. It's not glitter. Geronimo! I belly flop onto the table and roll around, letting the glue and everything else cover me. Oh, no. Time to go on the drying rack, I announce. But when I try to pull myself off the table, I boing right back down. Too much glue, Maddie, too much glue, my teacher squawks. This is bad. There's only half an hour until the end of school, and all I can do is lift my head, wave my hands, and wiggle my feet. The rest of me is a blucky, stucky mess. Can somebody help me? I call. While my teacher breathes into a paper bag, Noah shouts, Let's lasso him! Izzy, Noah, and Owen get to work. Soon I'm roped from all sides like a rodeo pony. But when they try to pull me out, snap! The lassos break, leaving colorful octopus tentacles everywhere. The glue is too strong, and now I'm a clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. tentacles now I tried to him. lasso him out you're gonna help him oh you have a lasso over there don't worry Maddie we know what to do shout Luke and Grace from across the room is that a tow truck I ask as they wheel the contraption over and stick a plastic hook into my suit of glue my friends pull one way and the glue pulls the other creak click creak click until The tow truck explodes and plastic bricks rain all over. Now I'm a clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. I think this would be something fun to do in the steam maker lab, my friends. Brainstorm ideas of how to get Maddie out of the glue and then actually build our ideas. The school nurse bursts in and checks my temperature. 98.6, sorry, no fever. I can't send you home early. She dabs and pats me like I'm spilled juice, but the more she blots, the more the glue spreads. Soon I'm a melted mummy, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. There's their school nurse. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Put it down. Put it down, please. Then the principal comes in. 
He takes one look at me, sticks a note on my belly, and leaves. Seeing my teacher huffing and puffing like a train gives me a great idea. I whisper it to Haley and Owen. The final bell rings and everyone freezes, except Owen and Haley. It's the biggest one we could make, they shout, furiously flapping a huge paper fan at me. Then, just as I'm thinking I'll be a note on my tummy, melted mummy, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky, glue boy, for the rest of my life, my plan works. Something my teacher said could never happen happens. The glue dries. But I'm still stuck. And now I hear footsteps. The door starts to open. Who can it be? My father and some other carpool parents walk in. Dad comes closer and inspects me. And then he peels me off the table. Glue, yarn, bricks and all. He spins me around. No one makes a sound. Then Dad smiles. Maddie, you're a masterpiece. He holds me up for everyone to admire. My friends all cheer. Brody, please. The car ride home is interesting. Mom is speechless when Dad brings me in the house, but he knows what to do. Well, kiddo, Dad says, some beautiful things only happen once, and this is one of those things. He gently grips the dried glue in the front of my neck and behind my collar, and he peels me open like a ripe banana. Now it's Dad's turn to glue, and he seals up the sides of the me-shaped work of art. I bet it would take all the glue in the art room to make a U-shaped work of art, Dad, I said. Dad laughs. And then he glues a big magnet to the back of my project, and he hangs it on the fridge. During dinner, we sneak peeks at my masterpiece. And after dinner, there's the masterpiece on the fridge. We take the principal's note very seriously. The principal's note says, from the desk of Elmer G. Stuckey, please encourage Maddie to use tape instead of glue. And there they are now, creating with tape. That's our other favorite thing, duct tape in the Steam Maker Lab, right? Yeah. All right, my friends. It's gonna be a little cloudy today. Might be another good inside day after you get a little bit of exercise. I make the Madura children go outside for a bike ride or a walk at least Hi. once a day. They have to stay out for at least 15 I'm minutes. Look at my cowboy yes, rope. Yes, very nice. That's your cowboy uh. rope. Go. Um, but if you have some glue or some tape or some string or some rubber bands or some anything at home, it might be a good idea to create something today. Make sure whatever mess you make, you clean it up. Have a great day.